Hello, my name is Suzanne Perro, and I'm one of the partners at Rego Auctions. It brings me great pleasure to be able to discuss the works of Yoichi Ohira today. Ohira is certainly not the first or the only foreign or even Japanese artist to work within the Murano glass system. However, I believe certainly one of the finest and most elegant. And these are the pieces that we have today. There is so much to tell you about them, but chief among that is really the comparison and the changes between the Japanese aesthetic and philosophy and the Venetian one. The shapes and the sizes, as you can see, they're very inviting. They're hand size. They invite holding them. They are vegetal. They're organic. They're very fecund, but they're quiet. And I think all of that really helps to see the wonderful textures and techniques and colors that really pop out. He is part of the revival of one of the techniques in Murano, uh, which uses murines. And murines are like little glass mosaics. So he works with mosaics and glass canes and also glass powders. He builds the fabric of glass exactly according to his own specifications. So he has started by drawing very precisely the shape, the colors, the patterns, everything he wants in the finished piece. So he displays these little bits together and with the glass blower, Livio Serena, the two of them work together. Once the glass is done, some of them will have hand carving. So that is a third person. In all, there are four, which Ohira refers to as the Murano Quartet. Such is his respect and affection for them that he insists that everyone's name goes on the bottom of every vessel. So the vessels are small, they are organic, you want to hold them. They have many different textures to them. For him, glass and nature are so intertwined. And, and, and what drew him to glass in the first place was the purity of nature coming through, such as the clearest water, the cleanest air, the stars, the sky, the white snow. And so you see that in his vessels, things that look like hard stone or like wood or bamboo, perhaps. Here you see the lapis or the malachite. Sometimes it's agate. So this is done so, so well. And in these shapes that are quiet, that have an opening, you could actually put a single blossom or perhaps a little twig in them and use them in a tea ceremony. He works with naturalism and abstraction and something that the Japanese would call wabi-sabi, which is respect and appreciation for beauty in aging. He works a lot with a juxtaposition of opaque glass and clear glass. He has these little lenses or windows that you can see in many of the items that sort of allow you to peek in them. His first direction to the team and to his glass blower is to please extract the maximum dignity of the glass. So I hope that this will encourage you to delve into Ohira's work on your own, or perhaps even come to the auction house and look at these for yourself. Thank you.